Hey guys, this is just a video on uh, um, potentially laggy games, um, laggy system. Um, so I set all these to default. Now, there's a lot of TVs with a lot of different versions out there. We try our best to make it as compatible as possible. Um, if you have a laggy system, it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the machine. It's generally something to do with the TV. Um, it could be like dynamic video, it could be game mode, it could be smooth motion mode, um, noise, noise cancel mode, noise smoothing. Those are all in the main menus of your TV. So if you do have those, turn it off. Um, and then you'll notice that the system should be very smooth. I have it set to 640 by 680 by 480. Um, so you should be good after you get rid of that stuff. Um, sometimes the game screen will seem like it's not flowing as smooth. And um, that's just because of smooth motion on some TVs that unfortunately you just can't turn off. Um, and that should not happen inside the games. If you are in a game and it is lagging, um, it is not the unit. Um, it is the TV, so you might have to do some adjustments. So what I'm going to show you here is how to adjust a resolution um, and or select a different emulator. Um, most of the time, nobody has any issues. I believe that the system that has the most issues with the TV configuration um, is the Nintendo 64. So... If you're in a Nintendo 64 game and um, you see tearing in the screen or it's not playing as smooth as it should, um, you can go ahead and enter into the emulation submenu. Um, and by doing this, we're going to hit the A button to select a game. So I press the A button. And then when this next screen comes up, you're going to tap the A button and then press and hold. So I tapped the A button and then I press and held it. And that will bring up this menu right here. This is the standard across the board for the N64 system. Um, I've noticed on some Element TVs, some high-end TVs, um, it really is just the emulator. So you can go to select default emulator for N64, which will change the emulator for all of the N64 games. Um, or you can set the emulator just for this single ROM. Um, so in this case, I am not going to change the emulator. Um, this is an on TV and it works just fine. Um, but if you wanted to select it, you would just go ahead and press the A button. And the A button would allow you to go in. Um, so the Gless 2 Rice works very well on Element TVs, um, high high Hyacinth TVs, uh, Vizio TVs and they're the lower models essentially um, whereas the um, the Moopin 64 this is a 4k low-end TV um, Moopin 64 plus Glide N64 works really great on these um, and then some of the other high-end TVs like Samsung's um, you'll probably want to select the LR Moopin 64 plus and this is really only if you're seeing um, issues with the game. Uh, well, I tried to set every single one to the resolution that it should be on, um, but sometimes it might just need an adjustment. So I'm just going to go ahead and press the A button to select this, which I'm already using this. And then next, you're going to see select default video mode. And you're going to go ahead and click on that. And generally, this is all the way at the top. So it will be uh, 3800 by 2960, which is essentially 4K. Um, you wanna go ahead and scroll all the way down um, to these resolutions right here. Um, these resolutions, even though they say 60 hertz, these are a, I believe a dynamic multiplier um, for your TV. And um, I would essentially start off with the lowest one, um, select that, go into your game, check it out. If that doesn't work, you can go up um, to the Point 20, 27, so on and so forth. All of these resolutions from here down um, should be relatively smooth. Like I said, we try our absolute best to program them for the generalized um, TVs in the public. Um, you know, there are just so many different TVs. You know, it's just impossible. So that's why I kind of why I'm making this video, um, just to show you guys. And that's the same throughout all of the systems. Um, I'll just show you one more time real quick. A to select the game, okay? Tap A, press A, and hold. And then that'll bring you there.
you can't break the system. Uh, you can always change back to the, the emulator that you were on. Um, sometimes I tell people just take a picture of the screen so you remember what it was on originally and um, you could kind of go from there and um, try to tweak it out. Um, I know that most games, they should play flawlessly. I've gone through many, many, many of these games. Um, the only games that you might have some issues are with the heavy, heavy graphic, you know, 2004, 2005 games in the arcade. The machine is just not powerful enough to play it, but we added it in there just for future future updates and future upgrades. So always feel out to, to reach out to me if you have any questions, and um, I'm more than happy to, to help you out, get your system up and running. Um, but nine times out of ten, it is the TV. Um, so just don't panic. Just give a reach out to us and, you know, we'll help you get your TV calibrated to where it needs to be.